now it's the time uh, to discuss about the other way of drawing onto the canvas that is drawing onto the canvas from a secondary thread or the background thread so we will first discuss about what are the basic steps uh, we need to take to draw onto the canvas from a secondary thread let's discuss it first and then we will of course discuss the we will see a source code uh, of an example of a typical mouse symbol game example and then we will see how we have done uh, you know how we have implemented all these steps to you know uh, to uh, to draw onto the canvas from a secondary thread so these are the uh, look at the slides these are the basic steps uh, to draw onto the canvas from a secondary thread so what is the first first step uh, uh, you know as you already know that we need to uh, extend our view class from a special view class called surface view so to do this uh, to do uh, drawing on the canvas from a secondary thread, we need to take help from of the surface view. Surface view is a special view uh, in through which we can ask the uh, you know we can draw from a secondary thread. Then, uh, what the next step? The class should also implement surface holder the callback. We will discuss all these things in a short while when we, we will see the example. Okay, the class should also implement the surface holder the callback. Then get a handle to the surface holder pass the surface holder to the secondary thread and retrieve the canvas by calling lock canvas then draw up on the canvas and then call unlock canvas and post do it repeatedly to get the required animation on each pass you retrieve the canvas from the surface holder the previous state of the canvas will be retained in order to properly animate your graphics you must retain the entire surface this is very important the last step is very important unless we retain the whole service with the background color the trail of the animation will be clear okay so it won't be it will be properly and the proper animation won't be uh, you know shown on the canvas okay let me open the workspace or the practical example of the bouncing ball game and then you will see how these all these steps have been implemented nicely in the example so let me open my workspace So let me open my workspace and then we will see the example of the bouncing ball and we will see how all these steps have been nicely implemented to you know uh, to implement uh, to you know uh, develop a bouncing ball game example okay then we will discuss the differences between you know what what are the basic differences if we draw from a secondary thread uh, on the canvas and then if we draw from the main UI thread on the canvas okay we will see how these things basically differ uh, from one another okay and what are the practical issues that we may face you know if we, if we draw on the canvas from a secondary back secondary thread and if we draw on the canvas from a main thread okay so let the uh, workspace come up Let the workspace come up and so this is the bouncing ball example. So let the project start and then we will see how it works. Okay. All right. See, uh, first of all, let me show you what are the basic steps. So, extend a class from a surface. So that's what we have done. We have done. We have a, a you know panel class. Uh, this panel class is basically extending the surface view. See, just just hang on for some time. 
for running. See, this panel class is the class where the animation goes on, okay, where the animation actually happens, okay. So I have, uh, you know, extended the surface view class to design the panel class. So that's, that's what it is mentioned here, extended class from surface view. So this panel class is the class where the animation will go, will, will happen and this panel class has been extending, uh, has, has been extended from the surface view class. Then what the next step? Next step is the class should implement surface folder dot callback. See, this I have I have implemented surface folder dot callback. See, I have implemented service surface folder dot callback. Okay. Then what else? Then get a handle to the surface folder. So whenever, uh, when whenever I am, uh, you know, uh, whenever I am in the panel here. See, I am simply. Uh, calling the gate holder person, gate holder, you know, uh, gate holder uh, to get the, you know, holder of the surface, uh, of the, of the, of the surface holder, okay. So, get a handle to the surface holder, then get a holder, so gate holder function is the function which will return the handle uh, to the surface holder, okay, which will return the holder, uh, handle to the surface holder, okay. Then, pass the surface handler to the secondary chain and retrieve the canvas by calling long, lock canvas. So, we have to define one thread. So this is the game thread. Is the thread class that is that that from where is the background thread from where we will repaint this. We will you know we will draw onto the canvas. So what is the game thread is doing? See in the game thread. In the game thread, see I have taken a surface holder and then you know I am passing the surface holder to the game thread. So I am storing this game. So pass the surface holder to the secondary thread. So that's what I have done. I am passing the surface holder from to the secondary thread. Okay, I am passing the surface holder to the secondary thread. Okay, so when creating the game thread, I am passing the surface holder. Okay, so let's uh, let's see while creating the thread. Actually, see uh, while creating the thread, while creating the thread, I am passing the the surface holder. The gate holder returns the holder of the surface holder and handler to the surface holder. So I am passing the uh, you know, surface holder to the secondary thread, uh, you know, secondary thread while creating the secondary thread, okay, this, this line, of course, you know, evaluates that, right, then what's next, draw up on the canvas and then unlock canvas and pull, so, in the secondary thread, see what, what I am doing, in the secondary thread, basically, as, as you know, that if you use surface view, we can draw on to the canvas from a secondary thread, right, so, that's what we have done, see, I have, I have taken the surface holder, using the lock canvas, see, that's what it is mentioned here, draw the canvas and then call, sorry, pass the surface holder to the secondary thread and retrieve the canvas by calling lock canvas, so, I am retrieving the canvas, see the canvas, so, retrie retrieving the canvas by calling lock canvas, okay, then see, I am basically withdrawing the canvas, okay, then see, I am, I am actually panel dot on draw, so, uh, this is example, I am drawing, drawing, onto the surface view, okay, onto the canvas or the, of, the, or the, of the surface view. So, what is important here, you know, we are, we are specifically calling the on the method of the surface, uh, of the view curve that has been extended from the surface view curve. So, in the first example, that is, when we were drawing onto the canvas on the same thread, we didn't call the on the method directly, but we, instead, we call the invalidate method, whereas, if we use a surface view curve, see, we are directly calling the on the method of the view class that has been extended from the surface view class, okay. Then what, what's the next step? Do it repeatedly to get the required animation. So, see this is in a loop, this is, this is in a loop, okay, while run, this is in a loop, so I am doing it repeatedly and then on each pass we retrieve the canvas from the surface holder, the previous state of the canvas will be retained in order to properly animate your graphic, you must repaint the entire surface. So, that's what I have done here in the panel. In the, in the C, the first thing I have done, you know, the first thing I have done, I'm repainting, repainting the panel with the background color, okay. So, so, so see how all these, all these, you know, steps have been nicely implemented uh, in the example. And so it will, it will give you a very nice animation of the bouncing ball game. So let me run this application first. Let me run this application to show how it, how it looks like on a emulator, okay. So let, I'm running this application. So let's see how it works, okay. This is the uh, application, uh, bouncing ball application that I was mentioning. 
see this is a nice uh, animation game simple yet nice so what we need to do we need to actually you know use the left button and the right button to to animate uh, the to animate the ball and the slider once the ball gets you know dropped below the sl sl slider the game is lost okay that, that's the basic game you need to hit the ball with the with the left and right by moving the slider left and right with the two buttons okay this is a very simple game uh, but this is this, this has uh, you know this has a potential to explain what exactly we need to do if we want to uh, you know use the surface view uh, for animation of okay, the under 2d graphics uh, internal api uh, for animation now uh, let me discuss some of the interesting part uh, visible surface view uh, as you are aware that uh, surface view is a special kind of view in which the refreshment of the view does not depend upon the facing signal or it does not happen every 60 frame per second or every 16.67 millisecond we can increase the refresh rate as we want okay as, as much as we can refresh the screen as quickly as possible for example see look at this uh, you know animation now so this is uh, this is exactly happening every the refreshment of the screen ha is happening every 30 millisecond look at this thread of strip right because we are refreshing every 30 millisecond we are, we are, we are, we are making the thread slip every 30 millisecond that means we are refreshing the screen every 30 millisecond and see this is the uh, this is the result where you know the animation is looking a little bit jittery okay but now as i as i've already discussed that in case of surface view we can refresh the screen as quickly as possible so it doesn't we don't have to depend upon the vsync signal for that so let me make it say 10 let let me refresh the screen every 10 millisecond okay now let's see how the animation looks like okay see with 10 millisecond refreshment the animation has become smoother so that's the beauty of the surface view the refreshment of the screen really doesn't depend upon the facing signal or it doesn't have to happen in 16.67 millisecond we can refresh the screen as quickly as we want